Let's do this face, shall we? I just had four chocolates. Second is eight. Way over my cow count for today. But who's counting? My fitness pal is counting. Oh well. for me. Hey fam, how you doing? So in today's video, I'm gonna do my full face using my absolute favorite product, okay? <laughs> I'm actually excited because I don't know if I've used all this product all together on my face. Actually, I think I have. Anyway, you know what? Let's jump into this video, okay? By the way, my name is SIK, so if you're new to this channel, all right? So today I'm actually gonna go ahead and do my whole face before I do my brows, I know. In the previous video, I did my brows last. And now I'm like, who am I? The first product here is the Ribbel Matte Primer. I spoke to you guys about it recent in a recent video where I was actually trying this one out. And I said like, you know, I think it's something new to the other Rimmel Stay Matte Mattifying Primer. And it is new, it's different. Even in texture and everything, this, one's, this one feels a little bit more hydrating, a little bit more moisturizing than the Rimmel Stay Matte Mattifying Primer. But I really love it for that component, you know, for that particular pur purpose. It doesn't really do like something extraordinary but i just like the way it feels on my face and even if i don't double prime like if i don't put a oil controlling or blocking primer on my t-zone i'm still okay you know my face still feels nice and fresh my foundation still layers on top of it really nice this so i really like that and it's very affordable as well and another primer i want to mention is the nyx can't stop one stop primer this one right here honestly if you've got oily skin or oily combination skin like i do baby girl this is gonna help you keep your oils at bay and i like to apply it mainly in my nose area and on my forehead sometimes on my chin and sometimes actually in my brow because you guys know like i use got to be spray or even the gel to be able to like set my brow so this one actually does the job as well because it's like that okay next is the laura mercier transition powder in the shade medium deep i love all the transition powder shades it's just very lightweight and it is in deep translucent i've used some transition powder in the past where it actually doesn't feel trans translucent on my face gives me hella flashback and all of that Laura Mercier transfer powder doesn't do none of that included included in new honey shade and I like medium deep especially to set my primer down especially that Rimmel primer I'm just gonna put sparingly on top of that next can stop one stop it, because it doesn't really need it but on the Rimmel primer good like if I use the Rimmel primer on my nose and whatnot this is good you know by the way I'm trying something new with my lighting I'm filming this around 11 15 which it's so funny like every time I sit down to film and I look at the time it's literally 11 15 right now it's literally 11 15 and 48 seconds as we speak do you see this so crazy <laughs> Next, we're gonna go in with foundation. Do you know what this is already? If you've been watching me for a little bit, <laughs> this is the KVD Vegan Beauty True Portrait Foundation, all right? <laughs> I've been using this nonstop and I think you, you might be getting tired of it. I've seen it. I already did a foundation test on this foundation. If you're interested in knowing my full opinion, first impression, recommendation and whatnot on the foundation, please go check out the video. I'm gonna put a link to it down below. The foundation is the bomb.com, especially on my oily combination skin, my blemish skin and all of that. You know, I absolutely, absolutely love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it with my, this is Shop Me Say AOA Studio F23 brush. The foundation is in the shade Tan 078, by the way. All right, foundation has been applied, but I just realized I don't think I finished what I was saying about my lighting. I am trying something new with my lighting. <laughs> I'm using combination of daylight and my studio lights and my ring lights. So I'm just trying to see. I kind of like the color because I feel like my video is always looking very bright and I feel like my skin tone can get a little bit lost in the light after time. So I'm just testing this one. I don't know. Let me know what you think, especially comparing it to my last videos. So next, concealer that I absolutely love. I ran out of it. It's the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer Concealer and I use the shade 338 Honey. I haven't repurchased that yet every time i finish a product i absolutely like i try to kind of pace myself and say okay maybe i should try other products but anyway the next best thing is the fenty beauty pro filter concealer i think the first time i tried this concealer i don't think i was madly in love with it but i've been reaching for it non-stop and that says something you know it's literally about a finish i might repurchase it and it's not like i'm reaching for it because i want to finish it no because i have a lot of products that I actually intentionally put aside to use because i just want to get it out 
you know but this one i've been waiting for it because i just I, maybe i just like the way it looks the way it feels and whatnot all right next i'm going to use the fenty beauty matchstick in the shade espresso this one i absolutely love i love the shade i love the application of it when you first start using it you might feel like oh it's a little bit hard it's a little bit weird to work with just warm it up and whatnot and you're good to go but after a few use you get used to it and look at that look at that shade i love it and it blends really easily you know even if i leave it on my face for like 10 minutes and i come back it still blends nicely obviously not as like creamy or wet as it was when i initially apply it but it's not problematic in terms of the blendation the blendability of it all you know the longevity the blendability everything every ability there is about it it's just perfect you know and combining it with the concealer itself it's a perfect combination you see like i've had that concealer on my face for a few minutes now and look at that it's still blending nicely so i guess that's why i've been reaching for this you know it's matte but not too much like semi matte you know and it dries quick but not too quick all right so now i'm gonna go ahead and set the concealer okay and i'm using my favorite product which is literally about to finished but it's okay uh, they have it in my cart on amazon this is actually one of those products that i actually have to have i have to have it even if i don't use it regularly on camera which i have been using regularly on camera i have to have it in my collection or else like i'm just gonna feel like something is missing hang on oh my god dogs don't they get tired anyway this is the derma blend loose setting it's back this is the derma blend loose setting powder in a shade warm saffron I want Derma Blend to sponsor me. <laughs> like, for real. Because I love this. Is it the color? The formula? Everything. Makes your face feel instant, instantly smooth or even smoother. Makes, like, the any terrible concealer you use, makes it even better. <laughs> Trust me on that, okay? Literally. Come on, look how under my eyes, you know? It's literally, I think there's, like, two more uses out of that, and then it's gone. You see, like, I'm not even getting a lot of product because it's literally about to finish. And yet, my face is still looking nice and smooth with it. All right, so now that that has been applied, I'm not going to go ahead and set my face. I don't need to set my face. I actually don't need to because the KVD Vegan Beauty Foundation is beautiful. I didn't need to set it, but I wanted to show this product, okay? Especially because it's affordable and also because it's just bomb. And it also reminds me of one of my absolute favorite high-end products the mac studio fix the mac F studio fix powder that one <laughs> i use nw45 with that one by the way so this is the nyx stay matte but not flat powder foundation and this is in the shade coco like it's just beautiful as you can see like i've i i, I really really love it i've had a lot of uses you know i've used it a lot okay so um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and use this to just apply on my face but it's not, mainly because i wanted to showcase it <laughs> oh i just realized i didn't blame the contour down here see that happens quite a lot <laughs> but i really like it if you don't want to wear makeup you just want to apply powder on your face you know after you apply your primer of course if you believe in primer and whatnot personally i do but if you don't want to wear makeup just apply this on your face it has a nice coverage to it obviously it's not full coverage it's more of a medium beautiful coverage and whatnot and it's it's just beautiful on the skin and it's also long lasting as well so i really really like it next we're gonna go ahead and bronze I have two favorite bronzing products here, but I'm only gonna use one. The Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette in the shade medium to dark. I love this. Like, it's just beautiful. Perfect shade for my skin tone. They also have light to medium and dark to deep or deepest or something like that. But yeah, perfect shade for my skin tone. The formula itself is very, very comparable to my next favorite one, which is the Fenty Beauty. I don't know how to say the name right. The Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Instant Warmth Bronzer in the shade Mokamami. Just like how the CoverGirl Queen Collection Ebony Bronzer, which I love as well, but I'm like, to the even bring that but you guys know i really love that just like how that one is very comparable to the fenty beauty one like literally they're almost like the same when it comes to the formula and longevity and all of that and application and all of that do you know what i mean so i love these two products if you're looking for a bronzer if you're looking for an affordable one and you can't get your hands on the cover girl queen collection about the bronzer especially if you're my skin tone try this black radiance one out but if you like to go a little bit higher this fenty beauty one i absolutely love as you can see that's all that's all that's left of it and I'm definitely going to repurchase this. I'm just going to go ahead and use it to just pop my contour a bit. Which you can see the contour is still showing. The shade Espresso that I use, the shade and Mokamami are very similar. But Mokamami is just a lot warmer. Do you know what I mean? So they, they go hand in hand, you know? So next for blush, I, I didn't want to like lay it on thick with all my other favorite products. So I didn't bring out my e.l.f. blush palette, which I absolutely love. You can't tell me anything about that. absolutely love it. So I just kind of put it aside because... 
you know you already know i love it there's no need to show it so the next best thing that i have been loving actually and this is in my everyday drawer is the revolution x patricia bright's dust till done face palette he has highlight he has bronzer or contour product and it has a blush i've been combining these two shades as a bronzer and a bit as a blush as well so i'm just gonna pick this and a little bit of that as i've been doing and just blush my face with it but majority of this one and just that and i'm just gonna type it right here look at that you can see it you know and go lightly because it's pigmented if i literally swiped in there and i went in it's gonna look ham <laughs> highlighter highlighter that i absolutely love love it that i had actually had to put it aside because i feel like i've been using it in every single video <laughs> it's this one right here the Jura cosmetics star powder in the shade bridget like it's just so beautiful the shade is beautiful the formula is beautiful it also doesn't just like sit on the skin it just like it just oh it melts into the skin and i love it all right actually i almost forgot my brows before i go into the um eyeshadow i'm gonna go ahead and do my brows and the pro product i absolutely love and i'm always reaching for even more than my anastasia beverly hills do brow pomade which i really like as well is the benefit cabral gel in a shade i think this is four i really like this honestly i remember the first time i got it i was like what's all the hype about you know and i think i mainly felt like that because i would gotten used to mainly using the abh deep brow pomade you know the difference between this one and the abh deep brow pomade is the formula this one has a little bit of a drier consistency to it and dry doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing the abh one there's more chances of you messing up <laughs> you know but both products are great i just reached for this quite a lot because i don't know i think i just like this formula a little bit better applying on the skin and whatnot even over foundation even before foundation it just like you can't really mess up and that's what i like <laughs> so anyway let's go into the eyeshadow okay brows are done all right and eyeshadow palette i really love they're actually by one brand okay um i like the patricia bright x Make makeup revolution one okay but this one right here or these two and i made going to use one but i wanted to talk about both i love them and if i was traveling this would be the first products i reach for do you know what i mean if i was going somewhere this is the abh modern renaissance palette i think have i actually done this kind of video before for face of favorites i don't know but anyway this is the abh modern renaissance palette love it you know everything about this palette i absolutely love but the one that i love even more is the abh x jackie Aina palette i don't think this is available anymore i'm sorry if you don't have it but look at that isn't that pretty everything about this palette is just chef's kiss and you can see i have hit pen on a couple of shades today let's do a little bit of purple shall we i'm just gonna go in with this purple shade it's called big wig i'm just gonna tap that on my lid i'm gonna bring that up to my crease i am going to go ahead and pick up the shade supreme actually should i use pinker no i'm gonna use pinker instead because it's a little bit deeper you know i'm just gonna use it to blend out the crease a bit okay actually you know what let me finally peel the thing off this mirror <laughs> Oh, all right. So now I'm going to pick up the shade Chicken Tin, which is a purple shimmer shade. This one right here. And I'm going to pick it up using my finger. And I'm going to go ahead and just top up that purple matte shade. Just apply sparingly so we can have a bit of a, ooh, a bit of a play. Are we good? Let's apply pinker in the inner corner. I just realized my mic hasn't been on me this entire time. I am so sorry. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm gonna pick up Supreme, which is that brighter pink shade, and just put that in my inner corner. Now my voice has gone a little low, you know, it's just... Oh, I was gonna use Pinker as a base first. Oh, that's what happens when, you know, I'm just gonna mix them both together. I just put it in the inner corner, you know, there we go. And now I'm gonna pick up the shade um, Credit, which is a brown, matte brown shade. I'm using a crease brush, M321 by Wolfie, and I'm just blending this in my lower lash line. Oh. do you know what let me pick up the matte pur purple shade honestly and just go to town why not just mix it oh that's so much better all right so i'm gonna line a borderline later on but now i'm just gonna go ahead and apply a wink or should i just do lashes oh i like that you know what let me do a wing i'm gonna be using this l'oreal flash cat eye by super liner and i used this in a recent first impression video and i've loved it ever since it's more of a brush tip applicator i'm now a brush tip 
girl okay so i went ahead and i like my lips using the fence beauty mask stick in the shade express so i do this quite a lot and i also went ahead and wiped off majority of it at the bottom lip and just you know mainly have majority of it at the top and i'm gonna go in with this rimmel lipstick i don't really have a favorite i mean i do have favorite lips so i was like about the revlon one i really love it should i just use that today We've got the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in a shade Kisses, HD Kisses, and I really do like it. I like the formula, I like the way it smells, it's so beautiful, feels really nice on the lips, okay, I'm gonna apply this right here, majority of it down here, and a little bit of it up here, and I just use it to stain my teeth. Tap a lot of it down here, and then only a little bit up here. I kind of like that look, I've been liking this look. Okay, great. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply gloss on top of my lip. Honestly, gloss is a gloss, but the gloss I absolutely love is the Fenty Beauty Gloss. Oof, diamond milk. I don't know where I put it, so I'm just gonna use what's close. This is the one by Lip Crush. And the color is different because of the dipping situation. All right, and we're done. And this one needs to eat. Literally, it's time to eat. It's 12 to 36. So that's literally my full face using my most absolute favorite product. And let me know in the comments down below which of these products you've tried that you like as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And it's going to feed this boy. And as always, whatever just love yourself. Oh my God, go start praying. I'll see you in my very next video. Bye.